Honolulu, a seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> oh, pals! Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here.
as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married and the future of the village looked bright until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded and he prepared to meet his maker. 
But instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear. I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The Kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day, he threw his fiance aside and ran to the harbor screaming, I must go back to her. The kahuna was furious. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lonolulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? Oh my! What a coincidence! You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. If you want to hurry things along, maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all pupule. I'd hate to see you go crazy. Speak with little old me?
these must be the gallant squid hunters. I wonder which ones are blushing husband to be. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Excuse me, which one of you big brave boys is Kai? Hmm, they look like they're saying something, but I can't quite make it out. A good view? I love you! Watch out! Oh, above you, watch out! Look! Above you! Above you? Look out! Up there! Uh. Uh. Oh. You have got to be kidding! So, we meet again, Senor Squid. I picked up a little present for you in Lona Lulu. Everyone, cover your ears! Say hello to my enormous friend! Now's our chance, my loves. Let's turn this tentacle travesty into fish food. Okay, here we go. My loves! Just keep getting better. Darlings, it was nothing, really! 
Mahalo, mahalo. Whoever you people are, I can't thank you enough. But I can sure feed you enough. Tonight we're gonna have a luau to remember, and you're gonna be the guests of honor. Get ready to drink, dance, and fill your belly with fish till you fall down. Come one, come all to Lona Lulu. Where do you think you're going? You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Oh, those stupid fishermen said the party was only for grown-ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? Anyway, you're going to look for Kai, aren't you? I've got nothing better to do, so I might as well join you.
Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. <clears throat> Don't give us that nonsense. We know you're the only Kai in Lonolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. <sighs> the Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kai Noah. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid's curse? Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it. But I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a fairy tale. It's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my tutu, my grandpa. <gasps> it all happened 50 years ago. And it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. Ten years after Grandpa got chased out of the village, the Kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man, and they had a kid together. After the baby came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him, till one day. Another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The Kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani, but when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. The villagers said it was the mermaid's revenge, that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. He'd been living all alone for the last 10 years, but there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you... Cooley Cooley, don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for Grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the Cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked.
This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. Look. I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers, and now that's how she makes her living. She's a smart woman, tough too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through and I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The kahuna's finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. Hey, listen! Hmm. doesn't bear thinking about. You know, I've been thinking.
You wanted to speak to me? to you about.
Why have you brought me here? <sighs> that voice! It's music to my ears! I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling, tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? You're a mermaid. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. Kai, my one true love, the one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore. <sighs> oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. <sighs> Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend. To trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the self-same island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way. But now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay.
can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin! this? A letter? This is Grandpa's handwriting. Dearest beloved, ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling. I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm, and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani the woman who was once to be my wife. With her father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. Kai? You're sure you're fine to row back home? You're not in any pain? I wish you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again. Don't worry about me, Michelle. You fixed me up real good. I'm fitter than ever. Huh? Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Kai, I know you've got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you. It's all my fault. <sighs> I'm sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. 
The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all, and what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there, on that rock, still waiting for me to return. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me, but I want you to know one thing. I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. doesn't bear thinking about. Hey! Darling.
You know, I've been thinking. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking. Oh. 